Well, yours, John. Looking at the agenda, do we have any additions or corrections? I would like to, in other businesses, talk about some logistics of the park board. So. I would make a motion to approve the agenda with the addition of the logistics under old bu other business. Second. Have a second. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we look at the minutes for October 3rd. Corrections or additions? So moved. I will second that. Aye. Aye. Okay, next is an appreciation to Ken Schmidt. Yeah, if I could have Ken come up to the middle here. Oh, right there, that's good. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, there's a big camera view here. Brad, where would you like us? Right there. All right. Um, Ken, this is a certificate of appreciation for 17 years, seven months of service on Ray Parks Park Board. Awarded this day, the 6th day of February 2019. Obviously, it was canceled last week uh, by me. Ken's first meeting was May 16th in 2001. I, I thought Ken was an original member of the board, but uh, you were not. not. I, I was not. Nice. But uh, the park board was, uh, first meeting was April 26th of 2000. And, uh, so, Ken, you are the longest standing member of the park board so far. And I thank you for all your service to the board and to the city of Lake Park. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Ken. Thank you. 17 years, Ken. It's a Stuck. long time. <laughs> Got another 17 to put in. <clears throat> okay, under grants number seven, there's essentially one grant that I developed, well, two. Um, if you remember the addition to the Glacial Lakes Trail going up down 10th Avenue there, mm -hmm. that first addition um, was submitted and uh, we had one acknowledgement with one correction. Mm -hmm. And then I did another grant to try to write the match, which is $56,000. So uh, it's all having to do with the Glacial Lakes Trail. If you remember, we'll run down 10th Avenue and then curve behind the uh, movie theater parking lot out to uh, Division Street. And, uh, that's all I really have in terms of grants. AMP, Bill, I'll let you. Yeah, um, so just a brief update. We have uh, bids are out, plans are in uh, general contractor's hands. We had a uh, pre-bid meeting today. It was mandatory, so if you wanted to bid on the project, you had to show up to this meeting. More so for us to understand who is actually gonna be bidding the project. Um, uh, not a lot of questions were asked by the contractors, which is understandable. They didn't wanna, probably wanna tip their hand to anything that they were thinking. Uh, a few things were clarified. Uh, uh, we ended up with eight people signing the roster, saying that they were there so that they could bid the project. So that was really good news. Uh, some good contractors on the list. Uh, bids will be taken on the 28th at two o'clock here in the council chambers. So if you would like to come and hear what those are, feel free. Um, we'll be then probably more than likely 99% sure having a work session on March 4th with the council to go over those. Uh, the bid package has got a couple, is, has both of the concession stands as an alternate. So that's where some, uh, seeing where the numbers come in and uh, we'll have to do some decisions and figure out where we're going. Um, and then uh, 
March 11th, assuming that we get good bids, we got the right numbers, they work for us. Uh, we hope to have council off, uh, awarded on March 11th. Construction when it stops snowing and freezing, so to be determined. Uh, we're still doing some final touch-ups on the plans, uh, but they're, they're fairly close. Um, feel like we're in a really good position right now. It's been a long couple months here trying to get it to that spot, but uh, I think we're in sitting good. So unless you have some sp specific questions, uh, it's, that's kind of where we're at today. So. Okay, the next is the ball fields at River's Edge Park. Those are in a holding pattern. Uh, didn't get as much done this spring or fall as we had hoped to have done. Uh, wet weather set in a little bit early, so we've got some work to do in the spring on that, but uh, it's gonna be iffy if they can even be played on this spring, summer, just because the grass was supposed to have been winter seeded and we didn't get that done, so. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll have to work with the Babe Ruth on that. Um, Mother Nature controlled that and we'll have to deal with that. The, uh, the maintenance building project, I'll just skip down to these next two, John here, if you're okay with that. Um, have you been by? Had to, did you happen to have to see it? It yeah. looks really nice. Uh, it looks really nice. Yeah, we've, we've made some de decisions and uh, changes on the way. Um, uh, we put Nova brick on the front of it versus siding and that turned out to be uh, basically a wash cost and it looks so much nicer it so does. it's so excited about that everything has been put on a hold pattern here now for the last month because of the weather but uh, I don't see any issues with either one of those in the restrooms uh, uh, being done by uh, early spring so or late spring excuse me questions on that at all anybody no just the only comment that the one on 13th Avenue anything there is better than what we had it looks so nice, mm -hmm. and it matches the other building so well. It, it looks like it was meant. It, it's, the design is perfect. Oh, good. Okay, we'll move on to about dealing with disc golf. Yeah, the, what I can tell you here is uh, we have a, uh, an Eagle Scout that's going to be doing tea, uh, concrete tee boxes out there. That's gonna be done late May. Um, it's gonna be really a tight time frame for him to get that done, but uh, we'll work with him to make sure that we can get that. Uh, worked with Tim Mackey and Adam Gore. Adam Gore, yeah, thanks Ken. Uh, we did a redesign down there, so there's a new layout, and we added three more holes, and uh, we have been clear cutting into the woods more on the west side, um, cleaning that all out. We did that last fall. We still got more work to do yet, but uh, um, right now we are kind of in a holding pattern on that also. We're just waiting for the weather to clean up and uh, everything should be done and ready to go for uh, Family Fun Fest for the uh, the disc golf tournament, right? When it, do you know when that is, Ken? What date? Sixth through the 10th. Of June. And it's actually the next week, so that would be the 10th or the 11th, I believe. So Tuesday. Is that what it is? Tuesday I just looked at Okay. So the well, dates are wrong right now? I thought I had the 6th or the 10th. That's the 9th through the 14th. Well, look at me. <laughs> just ask a council member, he knows. <laughs> So yeah, it's our intention to have everything done. Uh, we're working on designs for new tea, si tea box signs um, with our logo on it, a little bit nicer so they don't get faded in the, in the sun. And, and, and then we're also, I'm hoping to build a uh, bulletin board box or sign down there so it'll say the park rules, it'll say disc golf rules, it'll have a place for them to post stuff if they wanna do do things, um, hopefully it's gonna look pretty sharp down there. So uh, just so you wanna know, the, the tee box number one originally was by the, uh, what do you call it, River's Edge Field one right by the river there. The new one's over by the flagpoles when you have to go across the pond. So yeah, it's gonna be really neat once it's all done. So excited about that. 
Okay, we'll move on to the, our good landscape coordinator. She might talk about spring coming. Well, thank you. I have to get my little audio visual happening here. Actually, no audio. We'll see if we can. Okay. Uh, I just sort of, with the aid of some slides here, I want to okay. Um, hopefully they're all going to be right direction. <laughs> That's at the library. That was uh, the spring, 2018. And, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, so, uh, of course, we... we Started with our groups, um, spring cleanup, uh, sand company, uh, getting ready to clean up Rock Island Pond. We have a lot of uh, employees and they're able to sweep around the pond, uh, picking up um, everything. Um, this year we said goodbye to Smiley the water tower. I just thought I'd mention that with the nice picture of old Smiley. Um, INH properties, uh, Park Meadows, folks working at the library. I uh, hope I got the correct name on that. And they did a lot of work getting that butterfly area going. The prep work that nobody really thinks about, uh, breaking the soil by hand, you might add, with shovels. Lots of volunteer work. <coughs> Cleaning up over at the new maintenance building and planting the planters. Individual volunteers. Oh, we have new t-shirts um, for volunteers being modeled there. Putting together uh, little butterfly seed samples to give out to the people who are interested. This is an attractive picture. Just before the, the open house, I was walking up to the building and that was my, my vision there. I couldn't get in those doors though. I had to knock hopefully until someone let me in. Um, and just some pictures at the open house. And Slumberland volunteers out on the roundabouts are, are cutting down the, uh, the perennials so that they don't choke out the, the new growth. And planting more Slumberland volunteers. And this is a big project that we took on last year, moving a flower bed on the trail that had been a shade bed. And when a tree fell down, it, it became a sunbed by mistake. So we moved it over a little bit to the west under the trees again. And these are summer hires working, some getting some prep area. And I'm sorry, I don't know who that is driving the bobcat, but he's one of the city folks. We had to bring in some more soil and Cole's department store volunteered that day and they were rearranging the plants and I think they had a pretty good time. And they did a beautiful job. And um, city summer hires and maybe some, I don't know, regular employees there. Uh, making sure everything stays alive, hand watering until we get the irrigation in, and just some fine tuning. Uh, the, the red in there you see are donations from uh, Pattison. Yeah, Pladson, wh who was P it? Pattison Floral. Pattison floral, floral. And
just some more pretty pictures of that area. It, um, it's doing very well. This is Slumberland, and another bed that was actually uh, started last year. You can see the another shade bed. Whoop, we missed someone. There we go. Plant sale. We raised a couple hundred dollars. I think it was about 360 this year. Wow, 360. We're getting there. We're going to get that fountain one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be having a plant sale again this spring during the fun days. And in Waite Park, if we cut down a tree, we put a planter on top of where it used to be. <laughs> and we have a volunteer plant them. And boof, beauty. Yeah, it's <laughs> nice. Oh, there's Smiley being shrouded and turning into some sort of a jellyfish. And that's in his more needly spiky phase. And emerging from the chrysalis as a beautiful water tower. Planters at City Hall. And various volunteers working on those, planting and maintaining. These are the new style that uh, Bill and Shauna picked out. And I, I think they work very well there. And the round planters. Volunteer maintaining them. Oh, a little out of order. Janice planting. At the library, planting the planters at the library. Uh, you'll see a glimpse of our smallest and youngest volunteer this year. There he was. I think he's explaining at this moment that he knows how to plant. He's done this before. And he went home and he got his own tool. And he came back and he planted a whole planter. So, thank you very much. Ah, I was hoping that we'd be able to see this a little bit. This is the, the bluebird planter from Randy Scheel. And we actually have a bluebird in the box or right it, at the door of the box, and the other one is on the fence. So a pair at the library. 13th Avenue, volunteers getting those going. Uh, that's at City Hall again. We had the new planters this year, the um, hanging baskets and a volunteer loading them in his truck. We would pick them up uh, from the, the floral shop that we had them done. And so that brings me to the, the planters. They, they did pretty well. I think we need to fine tune a little bit, again, how we keep them watered. I think they would benefit from some top watering this year. And especially when it gets to you know, 85, 90 degrees. So over at the ball fields, I, I was there checking to see how the water situation was on that flagpole garden. Looked pretty good that morning. And so our youngest volunteer from last year was back this year. So she's not the youngest anymore. She's planting. hanging basket and uh, after the, the flagpole garden got going there. The rock garden. <coughs> ah, the rock garden. 
<laughs> Still, I think that this would be a really big project that we should take care of this year. Uh, really needs some cleaning up. Um, I discovered one of the sources of the weeds. Um, unfortunately, it's a timing issue. Um, parking lots need to be weeded or sprayed. And um, I discovered that one of the methods of taking care of the parking lot is just to weed whack it. Mm. And if you do that too late in the season, it just Jeez. blows down the hill into the rock garden. So that's one of the sources of weeds. I'm not saying it's the only one. I mean, because you can't do that. But uh, another problem that we have is gravel. Gravel just holds those weed seeds. And it's so very difficult to work in. It sort of rolls down the hill and makes banks of deep gravel. And though it, you know, it looked great initially, and I think it's just the wrong place for it right now. I lost my pictures. I don't know why. Anyway, um, getting back to that. Evidently, I'll just let it sit for a minute. You still go back to your photos. I think you might be able to get it from your photos. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, <coughs> have some, uh, I think this is in the works anyway, eventually, Bill, we're, we're gonna put some stairs in and waiting for that to be an add-on to a contract maybe? Okay, so I don't know when that might be coming soon. We'll try to get done this year. So. All right. So, uh, looking at that and knowing how people love to zoom down through the rocks, I happened to be online and I saw a granite slide <laughs> in New York, and it's wonderful. Uh, I, in between the, the meetings here, the picture is out. I'll show it to you all later. But it would be great. Uh, some, somehow incorporated in that, people could, if they want to go through there quickly, they can whip down on the slide. Of course, it would have to have stairs and also the handy cap accessible ramp would make it really nice for people mm -hmm. to be able to get down in there. Um, so anyway, the weeding continues. Uh, this is a massive weeding effort that uh, the volunteers are doing. It, it gets quickly out of hand, it requires people going in there with shovels because of the tap roots on the things. I mean, it really grows on that rock garden. But if we could get the gravel off of it, I think that we could subdue it and um, be able to plant things that will hold the weeds down. Uh, this ongoing project last summer with the, uh, the original wooden beds have serve their purpose and time, and we've um, had the curbing put in around them, and the wood is removed, and oops, uh, they're looking pretty nice. But I just wanted to show you how that was happening. Anyway, it's a big round bed going in, and we were not able to get that finished last year, so that's on going to be happening this year. We're going to have to take all that sod out. There's some beds with annuals. We have a lot of uh, annuals donated from Southway Floral also. So one of the volunteers, she's as bright as the flowers. library garden. <coughs> the butterfly portion of the library garden is a success. <coughs> we have a monarch caterpillar there in the library garden. They went for the milkweed. 
if I could zoom in on that picture, you would see um, a lot of eggs up on that top left fork. And those are monarch butterfly eggs. Um, unfortunately, it was the first year those poor plants are there, and I, I don't think they could support all those eggs and butter. <laughs> so I'm hoping they're going to be bigger. These plants are going to be bigger this year, and we're going to put a few more in. But they are, uh, uh, yeah, a lot of mulch over there, I, I guess, is the point of that picture. Volunteers working. Oh, there's the mulch after we got it in the beds. So a lot of work went into the, the library garden again this year. Or rather last year. Sorry. It makes me want it now. Want spring now. Yes, <laughs> come for spring. Don't we all? Yep. Thanks for the tease, Lorraine. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for all your work. Okay, we'll move on to the uh, park updates. I, re I really don't have anything else right now, uh, just being the time of the year and the season. So, um, but I do want to go back to to Lorraine and her group, um, and also thank you and all your volunteers. It's you have a quite a bit of an army out there, and that's that's really nice. Uh, they have. Um, I don't say taken over the old uh, public works on 602, but uh, what uh, they've done is the upstairs for, for growing. Um, and then um, in, the, in my old office, if you are ever in the old building in my office downstairs there, they are going to make that more of a, I don't know if we call it uh, a library and uh, put the table and chairs in there for the, so they can sit in there and have smaller meetings and then use the other work, other room more as a work room, I think. It's what your intentions are. So um, I don't know have, if, if you have any chance to get that organized yet, but uh, giving them the space that they need. Uh, we are done with all the fire department moving around in trucks and that, that did cause a little bit of chaos along with the garage sale last year. So hopefully this year everything will be in the building for them and they can do what they want. and not have to be kicked out every two or three weeks. but uh, So I'm excited for you and that, and I think your volunteers would like that too. So thank you again. Thanks. You guys have done an amazing job. Parks look great. And that is because of you and, as Bill said, your army of volunteers. <laughs> they, um, we prefer lots to of be green, thought of as a merry band. There's a lot of green thumbs going on in Way Park. Yep. <laughs> Okay, um, anything on more on planner boxes you want to talk about? Yeah, and I apologize. I think we talked about this a while back, and I wasn't sure where we were going. Um, I actually had a conversation today with Kelly Zwick. Um, if you remember her, she was she came back through here two years ago, talked about she a number of different things. Uh, she's in charge of doing a... Uh, 5K run, and so I was talking to her about that and utilizing River's Edge, and then she said, uh, uh, they just uh, took over the space where um, Ardolph was at on the oh, Third sure. Street Trail, and so she was asking if they have any planter boxes and if they should they could get one that they could use, and I said I'd get back to her. So I'm looking for a little bit more guidance um, how and what we want to do with those. They're in storage, and, and Springs can be coming here, so... Thoughts? Anybody? I did reach out to Wakosa and wanted to know if they had a use or an interest in them, and I never did hear back. Okay. So uh, apparently nothing from those folks. They didn't want or need or okay. find a use for them. Um, that was my one and only. I was... Huh? Mm, well, the, the ACT team would be very interested in growing, you know, maybe some vegetables. Is that uh, with Kelly, the ACT team? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Any other thoughts? I mean, they're beautiful. They uh, are. And 
we actually, you know, we have somebody wanting and having a use for them. They've been sitting there for how many months, waiting for spring and waiting for the right purpose. If the ACT team has a good use for them, why not? It's giving back unless other people have other ideas. You know, we've been batting that around for a little bit with right. where to go and who should get them and. I wonder if the senior, the senior apartments or. Um, Sterling Park. Sterling Park, thank you, Sterling Park. I, I don't really know. No, so if you would like me to, I can reach out to Sterling Park. Okay. And find out if that's something that they would be interested in. I know I have the sizes and how many, and um, I can get right back to you. Yeah. And if we need to bring it up to the next meeting. Yeah, we'll meet again in April. So April. that'll be plenty yeah. of time yeah. Bill, how to many get an are answer. There are of them? And then maybe I can. Um, I think there was four, two yeah. bigger and two small, wasn't it? I'd have to look at my emails. I want to say you're right with too large, too small. Yeah. Because they, they wouldn't need all of those. I mean, one or two or something. And maybe that's it. Split the difference. Um, if you'd like me to touch base also with Ms. Zwack and maybe work something out and come back next meeting with a possible plan, yeah, if you I'd be happy if you to do that. Okay, why don't you do that for me or for us, Jamie? Okay. And thank you for taking that. Okay, Bill, do you want to talk about the budget? Yeah, uh, budget was approved. Um, it was a little bit of a leaner year this year with with the way things lined up. Uh, the only thing that was approved in, in the park system was uh, new netting for the ball fields, the original ball fields inside the, the quad. Um, that was an $8,000 expenditure. So that netting is 19 years old and pretty frayed, so it gets up and down every year and the sun beats it up. So that's, that's all I could get this year, at least in the budget. Um, but we did get two new park buildings, so I'm still blessed on that. And um, looking more for more things in the future. Um, so stay tuned. I'll have more information down the road. Okay, the final thing is dealing with logistics. Yeah, so as, as you noticed tonight, um, the minutes looked at a little bit different and um, tried to follow along with the Planning Commission and City Council with the agenda or the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. Um, I, I would like to, I would like to add to the agenda, just like the Council does, a two minute forum at the beginning um, I do get calls from people saying, "Is there? can I come to the talk to the park board? So if somebody shows up, we'll just open it up, and if nobody's here, I just will let it go. But at least that gives an opportunity for the public if they wanted to come. And I can just say that to them. Come to the meeting. There'll be a two-minute forum. You can come speak. So That's an excellent just, idea. Yeah, opening that up. And then lastly, and, and this one goes back to Brad. Um, this is his suggestion, and I, I totally agree with it. He says, why do you start at 7 o'clock when council and planning commission start at 6.30? So, um, habit. I asked the park board if you are open to changing the meeting time uh, to 6.30. Um, I would need a motion on the floor to do that. But discuss it. I would move to change our board meetings from 7 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. I would I'd second, second that. <laughs> I think we're all okay with that. On, on the same dates that are good. Okay. Based on that, do we have all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So carried. So make a note on your next meeting time. But uh, And then lastly, I like uh, we talked earlier, I do not know who the, if there's anybody out there for the, the other park board position, but hopefully by March or April, well, uh, we will have that filled. So, but if you know somebody that might be interested, let them know. Okay, our next meeting is April 3rd at 6.30. Do we have a motion to adjourn? 
I would make a motion to adjourn. Second. Favor? Aye. Aye.